Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, right now I'm at Crystal Beach and I'm about to head out over to Port Coburn, which is about 16, 20 kilometers away to my west, uh, where I hope they're gonna meet up with a boat that's coming out the Welland Canal very, very shortly, a brand new ship. It's the uh, Federal Indiana, which was built last year and just launched this year. And it's gonna be the first time I've actually seen her. Uh, she was in Hamilton the other day and I did see her when I was on the Skyway looking down, I thought, hey, what's that? When I looked up, it was a Federal uh, Indiana, I thought, I gotta go and see that. So anyway, she's on her way through Welland and uh, she should be coming out. I think she's in lock eight right now, so I'm gonna have to get a move on so I can, so I can get there to capture her coming out. So, hey, join me, let's go. My name's Nigel, I'm Lee Keery Vlogger, and then once again, I'm chasing a few ships. Folks, this is a brand new ship. This is Federal Indiana, and she's a boxed handy sized Laker. And she's just finished her very first trip up the Welling Canal from Lake Ontario up to Lake Erie. Federal Indiana started her maiden voyage just last week when she departed Three Rivers in Quebec and then continued down the St. Lawrence Seaway to her very first destination, Hamilton, here in Ontario. And after departing Hamilton, she is now heading towards Thunder Bay, but we have caught up with her here in Port Coburn as she makes her way out onto Lake Erie. Federal Indiana is owned by FedNav. Who are they, you may ask? Well, I asked myself the very same question. FedNav is Canada's largest bulk shipping company specializing in transporting over 30 million tons of bulk cargo and bulk break cargo worldwide. The company operates the largest fleet of ICE class bulk carriers globally, along with approximately 120 owned and chartered vessels. The Federal Indiana is identical to the Federal Hamilton that made her maiden voyage to Hamilton, which was her namesake at the end of November in 2023. Both vessels were built in Ashima in Japan and spent over two and a half months traveling from Japan all the way to Canada before going into service. Just, literally the mast literally up there just clears the bridge <laughs> yeah that looked really close Looks like they're preparing for the pilot to come off. So this ship is registered under the Marshall Islands. Got a few uh, crew members out and about. Got the uh, funnel stack on this. Sitting very high as you can tell.
Right, we're going to try and get ahead of this, so I get the drone up as uh, quick as I can, so we can get some more shots of her leaving Port Coburn. So uh, let's try and get out of here and get ahead of her. Just going to watch my weight because I don't want to disturb the pilot boat. Doing 15 kilometers an hour. Federal Indiana is 200 meters in length which is 656 feet and 1 inch and she has a beam of 24 meters which is 78 feet and 7 inches and her gross tonnage is 21,043 tons. Engine's really starting to kick in now, ready for, for it to pull away onto Lake Erie. I'll get ahead of it one more time and then we can just shut the engines off and listen to it go by.
How about here? So there you have it, the brand new ship, Federal Indiana, making our way down Lake Erie to our next destination. That's a mighty fine looking vessel. Listen to us. Another one in the book. I like that one. That was nice.